It's a video that's gone viral on social media. A dog aggressively pulled by a TSA canine handler inside Detroit Metro Airport. The dog works with TSA agents as part of its explosive detection team. That tops our news here at 6. I'm Pamela Osborne. And I'm Will Jones. Victor Williams joins us live from Detroit Metro Airport in Romulus. Victor, you just received an update from TSA officials within the last 30 minutes on that video. Oh yeah, Pam and Will, basically they're saying that this is totally unacceptable. This video has been making rounds on social media and for that reason, that's why TSA has some explaining to do. We don't know the whole story, but the video doesn't look right. The video has surfaced on the internet, which allegedly shows a TSA agent mishandling a security dog while at the airport. I didn't think it was really too bad until I saw the last two jerks. That was a little... The dog and handler go back and forth for the duration of the video. At one point, one traveler gets in the way, showing the agent is a little uneasy. Dan Nowak says it's hard to look at. It looked like he was training, which I can understand you might have to. I mean, I've had a number of dogs in my lifetime, but those last two, definitely the last one, no. Dan wonders if the agents themselves are the ones who need to undergo the proper training when handling these animals. That was uncalled for. Now back to TSA calling this unacceptable. They sent us the following statement, which reads, video showing a TSA explosive detection canine handler aggressively pulling a dog working in a Detroit Metropolitan Airport terminal was shared with local leadership this morning. The behavior displayed by this handler is unacceptable and not within the high standards we hold our officers to. TSA officials at DTW have removed the employee from handling duties pending completion of an investigation investigation and directed that the canine be taken immediately to a veterinarian for a wellness exam. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor, thank you.